Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance Channel. I heard lately a lot of comments and questions from you about uh, sealed automatic transmissions. And I can see there is a lot of confusion about those. So I hear comments like they are sealed for the life and they cannot be serviced. One of you even uh, wrote that the dealer t refused to change automatic transmission fluid in one of those. So let's start with the first question. How do you know that you have Toyota sealed automatic transmission in your vehicle? And it's very easy. If you have one of those, you can spend half an hour or entire day looking for your dipstick tube and dipstick in your engine bay and you will never find it. And why? Because so-called sealed automatic transmission doesn't have a dipstick tube and doesn't have a dipstick. So it doesn't have that access which we had on the previous transmissions for checking the quality and quantity of the fluid. And that's basically the major and main difference between these two kinds of automatic transmissions. We can even say the transmission is not sealed for life, but it's sealed from the owner. We can even say it is sealed for a life because if you will not do the maintenance, which means replacing the fuel, one day it will completely break and therefore it was sealed for a life and you can replace it with the new one. Now comes question number two. Should we do periodic maintenance on the sealed automatic transmissions? And the answer is Absolutely, we have to. With removing that dipstick tube and the dipstick, the engineers were able to close the transmission and there cannot be any access for the, for the outside dirt and moisture and so on. So basically there is no external contamination. But don't forget, there is still internal contamination. There is still the contamination from the clutches, from the gears. It still keeps happening. When I work at the dealer, when we saw vehicle with this kind of transmission and we saw on the odometer approximately 80,000 miles, we were checking the quality of the fluid. And in many cases the fluid was already getting dark, it was contaminated, so we always recommended to the owner do the flush. Because all of us clearly believed in the preventative maintenance and replacing the fluid for the new one will extend the life of the transmission. There are numerous ways how to perform the flush on this kind of automatic transmission and when I will get my hands on one of those I will make sure I will do that service and I will film it for you. If you will still have some questions don't forget to ask. Definitely don't forget to subscribe because way more videos about Toyota maintenance are coming very soon. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.